To play Wii and GameCube games on Steam Deck are pretty straightforward. The setup process does not require BIOS file or firmware. Plus, Steam Deck handles both systems pretty well. Most of the games can be emulated at 3 times native resolution. I think the game just looks great on this 7-inch screen. In this video, I will guide you step by step to set up Wii and GameCube on your Steam Deck. This video has been sectioned into 4 parts, so you can skip to any section that benefit for you. Let's have Emu Deck and Dolphin Emulator installed on your Steam Deck first. If you already have this done, you can skip to part 2. First, we need to go to desktop mode. Then open the Firefox internet browser. And go to Google and search Emu Deck. Click on the first search result, then go to the Emu Deck official website. Click download from the top right corner. Then we can click download the Emu Deck installer from this page. Then we can click on show in folder button. And we should see the Emu Deck installer file in the download folder. Double click on this file. Then click execute. Click continue to start the installation. After we get into this page, just click custom mode. This will give us more option to install the Emu Deck. On this page, we can select where we would like to store the game ROM file. Here we can pick the SD card or internal storage. I personally prefer the SD card, but you can also pick the internal storage here. Then just make sure Steam Deck is selected on this page. Here are all the emulators that Emu Deck are currently supported. So in this video, we only cover V and uh, Cubic emulators. So the only emulator we are gonna select here is the Dolphin emulator. I will just disable the rest of them on this page. On this page, just leave everything on since the Emu Deck has already configured every single emulator for us. The next couple pages are for personal preference settings. You can just set them based on your own preference. Once you get this page, just click finish. The Emu Deck installation will now start. It will take about one minute to finish. On this page, just click add games. Then on the next page, just click skip for now. Now we should get into the Emu Deck interface. At this point, we have successfully installed the Emu Deck and the Dolphin emulator onto our Steam Deck. The next step we are going to do is adding some game ROMs into our Steam Deck. Before we add any game ROMs into the Steam Deck, please make sure the game ROMs that you are using are supported by the Dolphin emulator. Here I will copy the game ROMs from my external hard drive into the Steam Deck. You can also use your Steam Deck to download the game ROM from the internet. Sorry guys, I'm not able to show that downloading process here, but just remember your Steam Deck is a PC, so it can do everything PC can do. Let's go to my external hard drive. So here are three GameCube ROMs on my external hard drive. I will select them all and then click copy. When I installed the Emu Deck, I picked the SD card as the ROM storage place. But if you pick the internal storage on this page, you should copy the game ROM into the internal storage. I listed the game ROM location for both SD card and internal storage on this page. So you can use this as a reference here. Okay, let's back to our process. So here I will just go to my SD card. Then click emulation folder, then go to ROM folder. Inside ROMs folder, find the GameCube folder. And then paste all the GameCube ROMs into this folder. After this process is finished, now I will copy some V games from my external hard drive into my Steam Deck. So I have 5 V games on my external drive here. I will just copy 2 games as demonstration here. So just make sure you copy the game ROMs into the correct location on your SD card or internal storage. Make sure you check the game ROM location I listed on the bottom of the screen. After the pasting process is done, now I have 3 GameCube games and 2 V games on my Steam Deck. 
Now it's time to use Emule Deck to bring the game into the gaming mode interface. So double click the Emule Deck icon on the desktop to open up the Emule Deck. Inside the Emule Deck, click Steam Room Manager. Click Yes on this window. After the Steam Room Manager is opened, the first thing to do is turn off Tango Passers. Otherwise, Emule Deck will try to scan every single game ROM files for all the emulators. So here we only need to turn on emulators. Next, turn on Nintendo GameCube Dolphin. The last one to turn on here is Nintendo V Dolphin. Then click the preview button on the bottom. Then click on the passers button on this page. Now we will see all our GameCube and V games are show up on this page here. On this page, we can click left and right arrow to change the game artwork. To add all game to our Steam gaming mode, all we need to do here is click Save to Steam button. It will take about a couple seconds. Now we can close the email deck and switch back to our gaming mode. Now we should be able to see all our games show up in the Steam library and we can launch every game from here. So if we want to add more games, we just have to go back to the email deck and repassers and then the new game will show up in the gaming mode. If we go to our library and then move to no steam game, we can see all our emulation games are show up here. At this point, we have covered all the basic stuff to play V and GameCube game on the Steam Deck. In the last part, let's look at how to improve the game visual and how to use hotkeys. There are a couple settings that can make the game look better on the Steam Deck. Let's open up the Dolphin emulator from the desktop mode first. Then we can head to the option menu and select Graphic Settings. Then click Enhancement tab. On this page, we can change the internal resolution to 3 times native. This will make the game image look way better than the native. We can also quickly change the resolution during the gameplay with hotkeys. I will show all the hotkeys in the later section. Also make sure the widescreen hack is checked on this page. That's all we need to change inside the emulator. Now I will demonstrate all the hotkeys for the Dolphin emulator. I will show each hotkey for 10 seconds and then move to the next one. 